Creating a W rectangle spline. A W rectangle spline is an extended spline. To find that, we're going to have to come up into our command panel. We're going to go to create. We're going to go into shapes. We're going to hit the drop down menu down to extended splines. And we're going to choose W rectangle. When I click on that, it'll ask me for a corner. I'll pick and I'll drag and I'll pick the other corner. I let go of my left mouse button and now it'll ask me for my my second uh, rectangle and I pick. Let's come over here into my rollout. First of all in my rendering these can be rendered. So if it's if I check to be rendered it can be rendered. If I have it enabled in the viewport and then I can see it as a radial such as tubing or as a rectangular type shape and uh, so I can check that in uh, or not uh, and down here I come down to my parameters down here in my parameters I have the length and the width so I can set that up to be exactly the size I want let's say I go a six foot and the width is ten foot let's just say and my thickness all right uh, my thickness right now is 8 inches. Let me go down to 6 inches. All right. And so, let's see here. There we go. And now I'm sinking the corners. All four corners are the same. And I have in corner one radius. I'm going to go and set that to one foot. Hopefully we can see that well. There we go. You can see that they're a radius of one foot. If I uncheck the sink corner, now... I can change the radius to, let's say it's three feet, let's say. And now they're not in sync. The corners have different radiuses. Okay, so maybe I'll go with two foot, make it a little, a little cleaner. There we go. So now you can see we have two different radiuses in here. So if I sync it, right, I come out and they're both the same radius then. I have the edge creation method. I can go right now it was edge, which is corner to corner essentially, or I could go with a center. All right, so I'm going to right click and I'll throw one more in here then. I'll go with the W rectangle and I'm going to go with the center method. I'll pick, drag it out, let go, drag it out, pick my, my second rectangle. I can come down into my parameters. I can set my exact sizes now, four foot for example, and it was supposed to be six foot. And my thicknesses, I really wanted six inches. And I do not have any rounded corners in this one. And so I can right click, and now I have a second W rectangle in my uh, scene. And again, to get to my W rectangles, I'm going to go up to my command panel, go to create. I'll go to shapes, I'll go to extended splines in the drop down menu, and I go to W rectangle.